Uh, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about OBS high encoding. Now I've had a lot of people saying to me, Dan, I get high encoding when I stream for my Ogato. Um, obviously, you know how to. Obviously, you know how to add everything. You know your Ogato card, your capture card, your webcams, and everything. I'll be showing you in the next video how to put Twitch alerts onto your stream. You know, onto your stream properly. Obviously, a lot of people saying it doesn't come up. I had that problem before. It took me ages until I realised how to do it. Today we'll be going to be teaching you how to get the high encoding down to make it so you can stream smoothly. Because high encoding is, is basically your graphics card strangling itself and it's giving you lag issues online when you stream. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to grab up OBS. It's already being used at the moment so we can't go on that because it says the Algata is being used by the device. So that's all mine at the moment, my Twitch alert, that's my mic and all that. We don't need to worry about that. We're just going to go see. What we're worried about today is to getting your high encoding down low so we can get you streaming properly. So first thing you're going to do is you want to go to your settings. Obviously you can change all this though, you don't need to worry about that. Your stream key, obviously you need to put your stream key in there and obviously what you're streaming through, which is my Twitch. And then the output. Now this is where you're going to be streaming from. This, this is your bit rate. Your bit rate is your upload on your internet. Some people have got high uploads, some people have got low. I've got high, so I only stream, I stream at 2,500, but I can stream at 3,000. Obviously they like you to go up to 3,500. But I stream at 2500, you know, it goes through perfectly with my speed. Some speeds are better, some speeds are less. Now what you're going to do is to test this out, is to just go to speedtoss.net and then just upload it and it'll say upload. It'll be, say it's like 2 gig, 2 upload, like 2 upload or something like that. Just type in 2, it'll be 2 dot, you know, whatever the speed test says. Oh, we'll just quickly do it now. No, I about it. So your speed test, you just go into your speed test and you just test it. And then you want to go from megabytes to, you want to go to Google and just type in convert a megabytes to bitrate. And it'll tell you exactly what bitrate to put in. And then just type it into here or lower it if you can a little bit. Your audio, always have it on one, two, eight. Oops, one, twelve, one, oh, twelve. One, two, eight. And then I always enable this, enable encoder settings. I always enable this. And I go to super fast. You can go to ultra fast. Obviously check what CPU you've got first. I always go to super fast. Once I've done all this, you don't need to worry about this really. This is where you want to browse if you want to record through OBS. Obviously, you've got an Elgato, so you don't really want to stream through OBS. And then just click apply. So once you've done that, just click apply. And then go down to audio. You don't need to really need to worry about that. Your video, or this is the main thing where your encoding is. Now, your encoding, obviously, if you're stream with hug encoding, drop down your resolution to 720p. Drop down your resolution to 720p. And then click apply and obviously you always have this up by linear there or you can use that one if you want to but i always use by linear obviously with me and it obviously um you can if your pc can handle 60 frames per second by all means do it obviously always you i always use 60 but obviously for the video uh, which are high encoding we're going to use 30. so once you've got 30 just click apply and then everything's done everything's done and that'll be perfect and then your advanced settings you don't really need to go into that really and once you've done all that just click apply and then try streaming and it should be fine it should look like this now this is through 720p at the moment we're changing the video to 1080p now mine's for going through 720p at the moment obviously we've added our gato and obviously if it's still saying high encoding when you're lagging it's still saying it just right click on Ogato, go down to properties and go to configure video. Now for the video at the moment, I've dropped mine down to 720p. Now normally you can change it to high 1080p. It comes from 1080p and allows 60 frames per second. Now if you're still getting high code, just change it to 720p. Take uh, That will always be clicked when you first do it. So just unclick it and then just click done. And then obviously do it again click apply obviously you don't need to change any of this really don't change any of it and then just click apply and then the Elgato will be streaming through 720p which is still good quality my Gato there is 720p right now through my Xbox One and then obviously just do it if you wanted to obviously record and do a little recording of yourself on OBS do a recording on OBS obviously if the rest of the video I am streaming for OBS at the moment so once you've done that, t test the start streaming and your stream should be absolutely fine. If you're still having problems, drop a comment in the comment below. I'm still getting high encoding and I'll basically try and get back to you in the comments and try and get you to get your streaming to get that high encoding off. 
obviously you want everyone to start streaming. I had the same problem. Now I've just started doing YouTube videos. I normally just do Twitch, but now we're getting into YouTube. You know, I'm new to YouTube and I'm just doing the mistakes that like I didn't understand. I've been on those videos and they tell you, because obviously their speeds, they're gonna tell you a bit rate, which will be them, good for them. You need to do a bit rate, which is good for you. Not whatever YouTube's are viewing. Because remember, every YouTube's are becoming like 90 meg and 10 upload. You know, you don't want to go for a YouTube. You want to do it yourself and you want to add everything yourself. Um, <clears throat> so, if it works, obviously, hopefully it works for you guys. You guys should be able to get it work. The next video, we're going to be doing Twitch alerts, which will be on the OBS multi platform, which is what I found very, very simple. Obviously, very simple but some people are saying I can't get it to work so you twitch alert so obviously I'll be teaching you how to do that as well um, thank you very much for watching the video I hope your high encoding goes now so you can actually start a bit of streaming um, if there's any problems if you've got any problems write a comment in the comment below um, thank you very much for watching and peace and have a good day thank you very much thank